Welcome back to Kickin' Flavor. Got some quality sneaker content for you today. Got some good information. We're going to be talking about the Air Jordan Chambray 7. We got the first look at these shoes. I infamous, Infamously, I've been calling this shoe the old guy sneaker of the year. This is something that the old heads is going to love. If you in your mid-30s and up, this is a must cop for you. You know what I'm saying? You've been seeing these shoes since you was in high school never been released we getting one this year in 2023 and we got a first look we gonna get into that right. we also gonna talk about the air max one keep ripping stop slipping 2.0 now the first keep ripping air max is a classic colorway uh a, a grail um they came back in an air max pack actually we're gonna get a little bit deeper into that we don't know about the other two if the other two shoes that came in that pack will be released but we do know they keep ripping air max ones will be released 2023 and it's the 2.0 so it don't look it, it doesn't look the same as the originals and we're gonna talk about what's different if we like it if we don't like it we're gonna get into all that man now we also gonna talk about the olive five confirmed not until 2024 but it's a lot to talk about with the shoe because we've been seeing some recent retros of super dope old school og type of colorways i went i don't know if this olive is, is considered an og but it was an it was it debuted in the early 2000s all right not really again we haven't really seen it retro that much so shoes like that they've been coming out looking better looking crispier looking just different man just popping fabrics been popping colors been popping everything man so hopefully that's the same that's the case with the olive five i remember the olive five in high school as well it was a dope dope shoe this is the other old nigga sneaker man that the, that the younger people might not be as drawn to but we definitely gonna get into that man okay and we also gonna talk about the military blue fours confirmed for 2024 as well a grail to many i know this is a lot of people's favorite fours of all time man um a really great simple shoe but it looks so good man this shoe has really stood the test of time as far as looks i remember years and years for years and years and years people have been asking for this shoe it's finally here and we got some reimagined information on the shoe we know we got the reimagined bread for us coming in 2024 so will these military blues be bread? We're going to get into that, man. We're going to talk about it now. If you enjoy the information, if you find it entertaining or useful in any way, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Help the channel grow. It's Kick and Flavor. Let's get into the sneaker content now. So let's get into these Chambray Simmons, man. Now, I don't know if they Chambray or Chambray. I've heard both. I, I don't know. I've been saying Chambray. I'm going to switch it up and say Chambray now. So I, I guess I'll be right either way it go now. Um, this is the first look at these shoes, man. A lot of the pictures that we were seeing was either mock-ups or it was the OG shoe. We didn't know how the shoe was going to look. Now that we got the first look. I'm happy with the shoe, man. I'm excited. I like how it look. I like how it's popping. I like how that blue is glowing against that black. It looked like the same shoe that I seen in the halls of my high school, man. I'm rocking with the shoe. I'm feeling it big time. Now, this is going to be in full family size, and it's going to be released on August 5th. I'm actually getting two retails man i'm seeing 200 some places and i'm seeing 210 other places i'm leaning towards 200 all right i'm leaning towards 200 i'm not sure where the 210 came from um sevens are usually uh, 200 dollars all right, I, I'm, I'm the 210. I'm not too sure about, but this will be on the sneakers app again. It's gonna be August 5th. This is it, like I say, an old guy shoe. I don't think this shoe's gonna sell out, man. I don't think it's gonna be a lot of pandemonium. I don't even think young people are really excited about this shoe. Now, I could be wrong, they could be waiting in the wings for these sevens as well. But from what I'm hearing, it's the older generation. Every time I see talk about this shoe or hype about this shoe, it's from people who seen the shoe in their childhood or in their early adulthood. Now, is taking a trip back around the block is going to um, re-release again in 2023, man. And I think this is just a dope, dope shoe, man. This is a good look. Having uh, colorways like this be released that aren't as big, popular, known, and hyped, it is a healthy part of the sneaker community all right it's a it's a healthy branch of the sneaker economy with shoes like this just you know taking a break from the hype stuff you know what i'm saying i feel the same way about the olives even though i think that's gonna get a little bit more attention than these this is just a laid back shoe fun shoe cool to look at you know what i'm saying just a nice shoe man that blue and white blue black and white it is you know that's that's a that's a dope color combination you know anytime on any type of shoe and of course it's the sevens super 
legendary, iconic silhouette. You know what I'm saying? And when you're talking about a seven and you're talking about only three colors, you know, they gonna pop. You know what I'm saying? The inside of that sock line is light blue. It just look dope, man. Great pull tabs. All the details that you love on the sevens, man. So I'm excited about this. I can't wait to see more pictures, more information is gonna come. Um, you know, but we really got everything we need to know, man. These last, these last, Real pictures, the first looks, that's still the deal for these, man. I already know this is going to be high on a lot of people's list. Um, as far as people in my age range, age bracket, people in my era, they're going to rock with this, man. Y'all young people, get in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this shoe. Sean Bray 7, 2023 release. It will be August 5th, all right? Full family sizing, retail, 200 to 210. Get in the comments and let me know how y'all rocking with this. Okay, now let's get into a legendary Air Max One that's gonna be redone up, updated for the holiday 2023. That's the Air Max One. Keep ripping, stop slipping. This is a legendary shoe, man. This is a great, great, unique looking colorway. This shoe was originally released as part of a pack in 2008 called the Greatest Hits Pack. All right, it came with some Nike Air Stab running and gunning, and it came with some Air Max 90 King of the Mountain. Now, I, I seen a lot of people hype thinking the King of the Mountain was coming up after these. I'm not sure if they're gonna do the Nike Air Stab running and gunning. I don't know about that. I haven't heard as much talk about that. I wasn't too familiar with that shoe, but the Keep Ripping and the King of the Mountains I was familiar with. And, I, and to me, it seems like a lot of people think the King of the Mountains are coming. I'm not sure I haven't heard that. It hasn't been confirmed. Um, I actually think the Keep Ripping look better than the King of the Mountains. But y'all let me know, get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Now, this is going to be a 2.0 version of the Keep Ripping, all right? So, it's going to look a little bit different. It's not going to have the crazy wild animal print. It's going to be a little bit more laid back, but it's still going to have the same colors, okay? Now, the retail is going to be 160 and all we know right now is that it will be holiday 2023. I don't know the exact date. I can't tell you that right now. When I get that, it'll be here, but right now, all we know is it's holiday 2020, and the retail is going to be 160 and again, just to reiterate, I'm not sure about the Air Style running and gunning or the Air Max 90 King of the Mountains. Like I said, I heard some rumors that the King of the Mountains are coming. I'm not sure. You know what I mean? These shoes haven't been released since 2008. If they do roll these out, in my opinion, they're going to stretch them out a little bit. I think if one of the other ones, whether it be the running or gunning or the King of the Mountains, if they drop, it'll probably be in 2024, man. I don't think they're going to put this whole pack out in one year, so we got a little bit, a little while to wait, but of the three this air max one is my favorite man y'all get in the comments let me know which one of y'all's is the favorite out of the three from the greatest hits pack okay now let's get into these olive air jordan 5 we just got the news a couple days ago it's confirmed for the spring of 2024 now these is a special shoe all right these are the kind of in the same realm with the champ with the chambray sevens not released until uh, 2006 all right, these last was released in 2006. I was in high school, walked seeing the shoe, you know what I mean, just kind of take the school by storm. It was a shoe that it was a lot of hype around it, but the hype was really, really real when they dropped, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people had them, they was everywhere, and everybody loved the shoe. Now, the same way with the Chambres, with the Laney, so, so on and so forth, I'm expecting this to be an updated version of the Olive Fives, okay? I'm expecting the material to be a little bit better, the stitching to be a little bit better, the colors to hit a little bit more, okay? Cause that's what we've been getting with shoes from the 2000, early 2000s era. That's kind of what we've been getting. And y'all, I think this is just a perfect spring shoe, man. The A lot of these Jordan colorways are actually fitting for the, for the time that we in now. I can see a lot of people wearing khakis with this. Green is a big, big color in the sneaker community. All of a sudden, green is like a thing. You know what I'm saying? With the orange, with the hint of orange. I'm not really a fan of green, but these is different, man. These look something like, kind of like an army type deal. You know what I'm saying? With the orange, you know what I mean? The fives were inspired by a fighter jet with the, you know, the, the, the wings and a wave kind of sharp, um, 
things on the side of the shoe all this just works well with this colorway with the silhouette it goes it goes together very well man now it's gonna be a big year for fours and fives next year the next segment i'm gonna talk about a big big four you already know what it is it's gonna be coming out in 2024 but we're gonna stick to this five for now i think this is a classic colorway i think this will do more um as far as hype and sales than the chambray service even though they're to, they're, they're the same type of shoes They come from the same uh, year They're the same type of laid back style Not too much Not too crazy But it's not a bread It's not a You know what I mean It's not an OG colorway Or anything like that It's a shoe that balances It's in the middle Right perfectly in the middle Where it should be Where a lot of shoes You know go to die I think the Chambray 7s and the Olives are different. They're going to come out of the middle. They're going to be one of the crown jewels of shoes. You know what I'm saying? They still get that. They still got that feeling. They still got that uh, OG bread feeling. You know what I'm saying? But they're not OG colorways. They're green and orange. You know what I'm saying? Black and light blue. So those is different type of colorways. Those are some different type of shoes that I think they're going to shake the game up. They putting on for the old sneaker heads. We love to throw these on, man. Now, it's not too much to know about this shoe. All we know that it is confirmed for the summer of 2024, the perfect summer shoe, like I said, but we don't know anything about the materials. We don't know anything about the sizing. We don't know anything about the price. It's really not much to know. We just gonna wait. We gonna stay up to date on the shoe. Any news that I get on the shoe, I'm gonna let y'all know here on Kick Your Flavor. This is a different type of shoe, man. This is a... This is a old school, it just got that old school feel to it, man. It got that old school feel to it. I don't know what it is, man. It's just so much nostalgia in this shoe. It's not a super big, big popular shoe. It's just something that, you know, the, the, the sneaker community wanted for a long time, man. When we get a shoe like this that we've been wanting for a long time, it's a warming feeling, man. It's letting us know that, you know, we, we're still being thought about and our demands are still being met. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to quality. Um, Jordan Brand has been doing their thing on these. Let's hope that it continues with these olive fives, man. Y'all get in the comments. Let me know. Will y'all be getting these olive fives in the summer of 2024? Okay, now let's go ahead and get to the big news, man. The big dog will be dropping 2024. Um, summer 2024. Summer 2024. Military Blue Fours, okay? These was last retro in 2012. 2024 will be the year to join for. We getting Black Cat Rumors, all right, for 2024. We already know we got the Reimagined Breads. I'm gonna do a deep dive in that on another segment. So I'm not gonna get, you know, too much into that. Reimagined Breads, that, that speak for itself. Now, I do wanna say this will not be a reimagined um, project. So the, the Military Fours won't be reimagined. I, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that that, you know, I, it has nothing has been confirmed about them. All we know is that they'll be here summer 2024 and they're going to be the military blues. That's all we know. We don't know the fabric. We don't know the size and we don't know the price. All we know is that in 2024, we're going to get military blues again. Salute. Good looking, Jordan. This was a great choice. This is a great time. This is a great summer. The summer 2024 is a beautiful summer to pull these out. Now, what I'm hearing, what a lot of people are telling me is that a lot of Grail 4s are coming. Next year is going to be the year of the 4s. That's why right now, every 4 that comes out, whether I buy it or not, I pay close attention to the stock numbers, man. 4s are the best resellers when it comes to uh, nine collabs. I'm not talking about off whites or anything like that. I'm just talking about collabs, not fragments, not Travis's, none of that stuff. Just regular general release shoes. Fours are always the top when it comes to reselling. They're the top when it comes to hype. So if we got a year that's full of dope grail fours, OG fours, classic fours, that means it's going to be an opportunity for money, man. It's going to be an opportunity to make some flips. It's going to be an opportunity to hold on to some grails and maybe sell them later down the line. It's going to be the opportunity to double up, triple up, quadruple up, however you want to do on these shoes because they will be worth it, man. These military blue fours, I'm going to try to find some stock numbers. I'm going to try to find some resale projections, but we don't even need that at this point. We know just off the hype, these military blue fours, uh, the resale is going to be there, y'all. The resale is definitely going to be there. Now, we got the Thunders these year. We got the SB Pine Greens. We got the Crafts. It's a lot going on, man. It's a lot going on. Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we eventually get the Military Blacks. 
Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm just, you know, I'm just being, I'm just being hopeful. Um, I'm just being hopeful with that. I'm not sure. Like I say, I heard through the grapevine that we will be getting other grails. Now I do understand the military blacks. They just came out in 2022, but that we've seen stranger things. We've seen Jordan do, you know, stranger things. Um, I'm hearing a lot of people, like I said, uh, black cats, uh, just a lot of different possibility of fours y'all a lot of different possibilities a lot of people are saying you know crazy things i'm hearing possibly infrared fours you know think you know fours like that that that, that the community really liked but it seemed like they came and went i think jordan's gonna be trying to do some things man because bringing the military blues back um that's a big deal that's a big deal because that's a shoe that people have been asking for for a long time for it to come to fruition for Jordan to do it I think that's a big deal man um it's such an iconic shoe such a legendary shoe you know what I mean but there will be other fours coming out in 2024 that's what I'm hearing I don't know which ones we can only hope all right I'm gonna put up some fours on the screen you know what I mean what the fours would would be nice that would be nice um, you know, I'm like I said, I'm gonna put some fours up on the screen just to, you know, so so we can just play with the scenario a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I know our imagination is gonna run run a little bit wild with this because we know military military blues. That's the that's the big that's the big daddy right there. That's the big dog of them all. So we don't know what other stops they might pull out. Anything could be released when it comes to fours. They're gonna put the military blues out. So if that was answered, it's gonna be a lot of other wishes granted by Nike and Jordan summer 2024. I'm gonna keep y'all up to date on every shoe that dropped, but specifically, we gotta keep our eyes on these fours because me personally, I'm trying to get back into this resale thing. And from what I'm seeing, from the knowledge that I'm gaining, fours is the way to go. All right, so it's gonna be a whole lot of breaking down of fours. If you wanna try to make you some money, if you wanna try to make some money off shoes like me, I love wearing them, I love collecting them, but I love selling them, I love flipping them, and I ain't done enough of that. The times that I flipped shoes, it was just a rush. It was an adrenaline rush, man. I loved it. I got to keep doing that, man. I got to do it more. I got to get into my, you know what I'm saying, my regular everyday routine of looking up stock numbers and finding out which shoes is going to perform the best. Hey, let's not forget, we also have another colorway for the SB coming this year too so we're gonna pay close attention to that stock we're gonna see how that performed the pine greens went crazy it was a crazy release I'm starting to regret not getting that shoe um, but somebody asked me or I was I was having a conversation with somebody and they asked me would I would I still regret it if the shoe wasn't an SB and no like if, if it wasn't an SB I, I wouldn't even consider getting it it is because it's an SB that is, you know, it, it makes a difference. But if, you know, just fours overall, they have a high resale value. So we're going to be looking at the stock numbers and just, you know, taking it day by day. Any information I get, it will be here on Kick It Flavor. Let me know. Are y'all getting the military blue fours in the summer of 2024? I know 99% of y'all probably are or y'all want to. It's, it's kind of a no brainer. Everybody's going to have the shoe. Everybody's going to get the shoe because everybody's been wanting the shoe. This isn't a hype shoe man this is a shoe that people genuinely love which is which is the case for a lot of drawers man especially fours people really really love fours pine greens got kind of hype bc but people really love that shoe and i and i said some hype bc stuff about the uh pine green fours too also um about the uh reimagined breads when that was when that was announced but i was just being funny man people really love those shoes they look good they're they're, they're great looking shoes you know what i mean uh military blues are right there they're right there with those man so y'all let me know what y'all think about these military blues we all be getting them in the summer of 2024 get in the comments and let me know let me know which four you want to see in 2024 all right, now that was a lot of heat that we discussed, man. A whole lot of good, good quality sneaker information, man. I'm going to keep my eyes and ears open for anything, anything that I hear or see about any of the shoes that we discussed today. Now, if you enjoy the content, if you think it's useful, if you use it in any type of way, or you just think it's entertaining, like, share, subscribe, and help the channel grow. I'm going to keep giving y'all sneaker information. I'm going to keep giving y'all quality sneaker information every week here on Kick and Flip. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for being a viewer. I'm going to see y'all in the next episode. Peace.